Good morning, class. How are you today? So before we start, uh, please all rise and let us pray. Um, Jay, can you lead uh, the prayer? Okay, very good. Okay, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us healthy body and sound mind. We thank you for another opportunity to learn. Bless us with wisdom to understand our lessons and the joy to learn with our classmates. Bless also our teachers as they impart to us the value of learning. Keep us safe in your loving kindness. This we ask in the mighty and sweet name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, class. How are you today? Oh, you are all doing good. Okay. Who's the absent this morning? No one? I like that you are all very active in my class okay are you ready for our new lesson you are all ready okay so before we proceed to our new lesson who remembered our lesson yesterday okay raise your hand do not answer in chorus okay Jane What's our lesson yesterday? Very good. You remembered it. Prepositional praise. So can you give what's the meaning of prepositional praise? Very good. Let's give Jane a very good clap. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Very good. Okay, class, do you want to play a game first? Okay, but before that, I want to know if you are all familiar with the game Four Picks and One Word. Oh, you are all familiar with that. So, I think it, this will be very easy for you to answer this game because this game is very similar to that game. Okay? So, before we start, I want to divide you into um, six groups. Okay? Head count. Head count. Okay? So, go to your group and sit properly. So, I will show you pictures and you will guess the praises. Okay? So, before we start, are you ready again? Okay, you are all ready. So, this is the first picture. Okay. Raise up your boards. The answer is cloud nine. Okay. All of you got the correct answer. Very good. So, next picture. Raise up your boards. Okay. Very good. The answer is piece of cake. You're doing great so far, huh? Okay, the next picture. Raise up your boards. Oh, different answers this time. So, the answer is butterflies in my stomach. Okay, none of you get the correct answer. Okay, next. Picture. Raise up your boards. Okay, group 5 got the correct answer. This is break a leg 
So, last picture. Raise up your boards. Oh, none of you again got the correct answer. So, the answer for this picture is speaking of the devil. So, I will explain. Oh, no, no, no. But before that, I want to know who got the highest score. Okay, group 5 got the 4 points and group 6, group, group 3, 2, 1 got 3 points. Okay, so we will add that points to the next activity. What have you noticed in our game? Anyway, are you having fun with the game? Do you have fun? Okay, I am very happy that you are having fun. So, who wants to answer? What have you noticed to the game? So, raise your hands. Yes, Mark? Okay, yes, very good. So, another answer? Yes, very good, very good, very good. Let's give them a round of applause. So, those pictures can be interpreted in literally and figuratively language so what does it mean in literally it means literal it says the picture exactly what it is okay do you get it for example the piece of cake the piece and the cake the piece and the cake in a figurative language it is more elaborated it's more exaggerated there's another meaning with that praise. Do you get it? Okay. Our topic for today is all about figurative language or the figures of speech. And I have here an activity again. Okay. Do you want more activities? Okay. I like that. So these are all in scrambled letters. I want you to know what the word it is. Okay. So, okay, that. So, who wants to answer number one? Okay. Yes, Pauline. Number two. Yes, Denmark. Number three. Rika. Four. Sheila. And number. Okay, that is all. That is all. Only four. Okay. Go to the board one by one. good all of you get the correct answer so let's give them a big round of applause are you familiar with those words oh not yet don't worry because that is our new lesson for today are you ready yes you are all ready okay so let's move on to our discussion so sit properly and listen to me Okay, so the first one is simile. Okay, a figure of speech in which comparison is made between two unlike objects using the word like, remember, like and as. Take note, like and as. Okay, for example, her skin was as white as no her skin was as white as no there is a two comparison and there is the word as very good so another example you are acting like a baby you are acting like a baby Oh, there is the two comparison. There's a comparison. Two unlike objects. The baby and the acting. Acting and the baby. You are acting like a baby. So, there's a comparison and there is the word like. So, do you understand? Very good. So, who wants to give an example of a simile? Raise your hands. Don't answer in curious. So yes, Ian, 
Very good. So let's give Ian a big round of applause. Very good. So let's move on to the next figures of speech. The next one is the metaphor. Okay, metaphor, a figure of speech, which a comparison is drawn between two unlike ideas without the use of like or as. Okay, without the use of like or as. So the simile uses like or as, and the metaphor is not using like or as. Okay, but this is also a comparison between two unlike objects. Okay, so I will give you an example. So first one example, first example is Fran is a teddy bear. Okay, there's a comparison, but it didn't use like or as. Fran is a teddy bear. So next, that boy is a bamboo. That boy is a bamboo. There's a comparison. So, who wants to give an example of metaphor? Okay. Yes, Sheila. Very good. Let's give Sheila a round of applause. Very good. So, another example. Okay, Mark. Very good. Let's give him also a round of applause. So, what are the two figures of speech again? The first one is simile. And the second one is metaphor. So, let's move on to the third figures of speech. So, the third is personification. So, Personification is a figure of speech giving a human traits or characteristics to something that isn't a human. So, such as animals, objects, non-living things, like that. So, for example, the coconut tree shook her long hair. The coconut tree shook her long hair. Okay, the coconut and her long hair. Coconut is the non-living things, objects like that, and the long hair is the human traits, okay? Personification, from the word person, okay? So another example is the flower. The flower dance in the gentle breeze. The flower dance in the gentle breeze. Okay, the flower is an object and the dance is the human traits. So do you get it? Yes. Who wants to give an example of personification? Okay, yes, Karen. Very good. Oh, another example. Yes, Aileen. Aileen? Aileen. Okay, Aileen. Okay, very good. So, let's give them a big round of applause. So, let's move on to the last figures of speech but before that what are the let's recall the first to third figures of speech the first one is simile the second one is metaphor and the third one is personification so the last one is the hyperbole repeat after me hyperbole okay hyperbole is a major exaggeration or overstatement Authors use these figures of speech to emphasize or to add humor. Okay, it's this word in the ad. Uh, this figures of speech is more exaggerated. All the phrases is overstatement, like for example, overacting and uh, for the description of one person like that. So this is over exaggerated. So I will give you an example. The first one is my backpack weighs a ton. My backpack weighs a ton. So, that is in a simple way, on a simple interpretation, that is only his backpack is heavy. 
Okay? The statement is over-exaggerated. Overstatement. So, another example. I've told you a million times. I've told you a million times. What does this mean in a simple way? I've told you many times. Okay? The statement used is exaggerated. Overstatement. So, do you get it, guys? That is hyperbole. Hyperbole. Okay? So, who wants to give an example of hyperbole? Okay, yes, Jason. Very good. Another example. Raise your hands. Don't answer in chorus. Okay, yes, Gennaro. Very good. All of you are very good. You catch up our lesson easily. Let's give all of us a round of applause. Okay, class, what are those figures of speech again? Who wants to answer? Raise your hand. Okay, Lizelle. Very good. Figures of speech are composed of simile, metaphor, personification, and hyperbole. Okay, so let us test if you learned the figures of speech I taught to you. Okay, the first, uh, this is a group activity and the points you gained to the last activity will be added to this activity, okay, to know who's the winner. So this activity, go to your groups again, go to your group, group mates, okay. So in this activity, I will play a line of a song and you will identify if it is a simile, metaphor, personification, and hyperbole, okay, that's clear? Are you ready? Yes, you are all ready, very good. Let's start our activity. So, I will play the line of a song twice. So, listen carefully, okay? Okay. So, the first song. I will play it again, okay? Okay, boards up, boards up, boards up. The answer is hyperbole. Okay, all of you got the correct answer. Very good. Okay, the next song. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you. Oh, I will play it again. Words up, words up. Okay, the answer is simile. Okay, never mind. I find someone like you. Like, there's a word. Like, very good. So, next song. Shot me out of the sky. You're my kryptonite. You keep making me. Okay, I will play it again. Shot me out of the sky. You're my kryptonite. You keep making me weak. Okay, boards up. Boards up, kids. Okay, so the answer is metaphor. Metaphor? Why metaphor? Okay. Very good, very good, all of you. So, the line number four. Okay. After all, the city never sleeps I will play it again. After all, the city never sleeps okay, boards up, students. The answer is personification. 
all of you get the correct answers again. I'm very proud of you guys. You are all listening. Okay, number five, last question. No, last song. Okay. Okay, I will repeat the song. I have died every day waiting for you. Darling, don't be afraid. I have loved you. Okay, boards up. Students, boards up. Okay, the answer is hyperbole. The answer is hyperbole. Okay, all of you get the correct answer. Very good. I'm very impressed to all of you guys. So, all of you got the prize after our lesson. The reward. Do you like that? Okay, very good. So, let's proceed to our assessment. So, I have here your assessment. Assessment form. So, get one and pass. Okay, class, are you done with the assessment? Put your pens up if you are done. Okay, all of you are done. So, let's check your work. So, number one, please read Denmark. Okay, the answer is... Metaphor. Number two, please read Rika. The answer is... Personification. Very good. Number three, please read Sheila. Very good. The answer is personification. Number four. Please read, Julia. Okay. The answer is simile. And number five. Please read, Norley. Okay. The answer is simile. Okay. Very good, all of you. So, who got the perfect score? Raise your hands. Okay, most of you get a perfect score. And and who got four? Okay. Wow. And who got three? No one got three. So very good, all of you. I am very proud that you got the high score. So for our agreement, have an advanced reading on the story paper by Catherine Lim. So you will search it on the internet or much better if you have books that is available on your home or the library okay paper by katherine lim okay so before we end this let this discussion let us pray first so in the name of the father of the son of the holy spirit amen we thank you lord for all the knowledge we learned this day May they help us to become your worthy children, to glorify you, to serve our country and all people honestly, and to honor our parents who dream a good future for us. O oh my Jesus, guide us and protect us from evil after we leave this room. Amen. Father of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So that is all for today's guys. I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for listening.